Hi, I'm Ray Tanton, Product Manager here at Personas. In this video, I'm going to go through the mono functionality of the uh, left-right mono bus uh, for the new flagship Studio Live 64S. So the Studio Live 64S features a uh, mono center bus. So it's a dedicated bus as part of the main mix. And with this bus, uh, you can operate in left, right plus mono mode or LCR, left, center, right mode. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, all the features of the mono mode. So by default, you'll already be in mono mode. But to confirm, let's just go to our home menu and go into system. And you'll see here uh, that I'm actually not in L uh, uh, stereo plus mono mode. Uh, so somebody's probably messing with my mixer. Good thing I checked it. Let's go ahead and put it into stereo. All right, so now that I am confirmed in stereo mode, um, I have an assign button here, which is my mono center assign. And so uh, just right here on channel one, um, I can go ahead and assign there. You'll see uh, the indicator light up in my channel overview screen as well as the button itself. So at this point, uh, it's operating just like a uh, mono bus on uh, any other mixing console that has a mono bus. Um, I've assigned it to the mono bus, and now this uh, fader uh, for this channel is sending out to the mono bus, um, as well as the left-right bus, since I have them both routed. Um, now, one of the features that's unique to uh, the Studio Live 64S is I actually have a level control for the send to that mono bus. So when a, a, uh, a channel is sent to the mono bus or assigned to the mono bus, um, here in my fat channel, I can page over and I have this mono send level. So by default, it's at uh, zero dB, which is unity. It works just like the, the scale of your fader. And I can turn that up or I can turn that down. What this is, allows me to do is tailor exactly how much of each channel is sent to the mono bus. This is a great feature if you want to use the mono bus in the same way you would an AUX-fed sub. So, for example, I could send my kick, my bass, and my keyboards all to the mono bus to go out to my subs. But then I can adjust the balance between the keyboards and the kick and the bass uh, so that I've got a good mix of what's coming out of the subs. It's a really cool feature. Uh, we also give you a couple of uh, cool features on the fat channel of the mono bus. So to access the mono bus fat channel, uh, you press the uh, master channel select button once, and that's going to select your main. You press it a second time, and it's going to switch over to your mono. You'll notice that both in my main and my mono, I have a selectable high pass and low pass filter. Uh, so on my main, for example, uh, I can put that into high pass and then I can make an adjustment here. And then I can switch over to my mono, put that into low pass, and set up a little uh, crossover point between my main left, right, and my mono. Again, if I'm using it as a feed to a sub, uh, this is a great functionality built into the mixer right here. Uh, so you saw that I was accessing those here. Uh, with the select button. Um, I can also access the individual left, right, and mono uh, send faders. So to do that, I'm going to go to my mix masters. And from here, I'm going to page to the end, and I'll see my main and my mono center channel. So if I turn up my main fader, you'll see that it's turning up both the main and the mono channel. Um, if I turn it down, it turns them both down. So from here, I can adjust the balance of my main uh, left, right, and my mono just by moving my mono center down. Uh, if I move my main left, right, it will move the main fader in conjunction with that, um, but I can adjust the balance. Once I've adjusted the balance, then the master fader again is going to control both of those uh, levels uh, from a single fader. So this allows you to uh, easily be able to make adjustments to your main uh, mix output for all the main mix outputs, your left, right, and your mono, as well as uh, individually uh, tailor them here. And of course, we have the select buttons here, so you can switch back and forth between them uh, on these channels as well. 
So that's the new uh, mono bus features on the Studio Live 64S. Uh, some cool additions with the ability to customize the uh, balance and the send level for your channels that are sent to the mono, uh, the switch selectable high pass, low pass filter, and how to work with the balance between your left, right, and your mono faders. Uh, it's a really cool feature uh, you can take advantage of on the flagship Studio Live 64S. Um, we encourage you to explore further and think about different ways that you would use uh, the flexibility of this type of a mono bus in your mixes. Uh, thank you for watching and be sure to check out the rest of our videos on the Studio Live Series 3 mixers.